Welcome to the Sonoma County Library's basic book repair video series. We're going to continue with gluing, but we've reached the end of the line. We're going to be showing you how to hinge uh, books when the hinge has broken or separated entirely, or when both have broken and separated entirely. So the first video is uh, going to be called Half Hinging. So I've got two examples of books where the one side has completely separated. You can see that. Um, this is a relatively brand new book, which is, makes it very interesting. So you can see that this side is still tight. It's still glued down. Everything's wonderful on that side. This side, no ripping, no tearing, but we do need to remove the end paper. So we're going to be removing the end paper because when you do a half hinge, you have to have it glued to the cover board. Any hinge you have to glue to the cover board and then you would glue the end paper down. Um, so we're going to remove that and get it prepared. The case is in beautiful shape, so we're not going to need to do anything on that. Uh, the other book is in a little bit worse for wear repair. So I'm going to show you what we're going to want to do with this book. You could see that it's loose here but it hasn't completely torn. So I, you know, a lot of people, they'll go ahead and rip this out and, and do a whole hinge on it. Me, I like to glue. So I'm gonna glue, cause it's still got a nice super here. So I'm gonna place a bunch of glue here. It's got, it's nice, but we're gonna need to do something about this. So on this, I'm going to glue down as much as I can. I'm not going to worry about this because the hinge will probably cover it. And then at, when I bring in my flap, I will just flip this over and tuck it in. So we're going to need to remove this little piece here. So simply, I usually just use my fingers. I might want to cut that a little bit use some tweezers to get this out, prepare this side, slap a bunch of glue in there would be the first thing, let it dry. Then I'll glue this side down, trim off this little bit, and then we'll do a half hinge. But for the purposes of teaching you how to do a half hinge, I'm gonna use the book that's in uh, beautiful shape and easy to go. So just so you know, though, I want you to know that if you do, this is the kind of thing you would need to prepare. Um, you would might consider on here, this is starting to rip, is a piece of cloth book tape, which since before I glue it, I would want to put a piece down here and along this edge. And we will um, show you how to do that when we do the whole hinge. And so if you refer to that video, um, it'll be posted at the same time this one is. So as I mentioned on this book, we're going to need to remove the end paper on this side. So a uh, couple ways you can do it. Uh, some people like to cut it. I like to see if it just, if it easily, it's, since it's already been, it looks like it'll just, tear away easily. So I'm just going to take my time and just tear it away. And this way I get a nice clean edge. So I'm going to put that aside. There's really nothing I need to do to this. Um, it never had a super. So I'm not concerned about um, this is intriguing this piece of paper they used. Uh, whoever actually bound this. So I'm going to leave that, but I am gonna take a piece of sandpaper 
and I'm going to use a 60 grit, uh, which is pretty rough. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of sand because I like a texture. And this paper is just too smooth for my taste. Okay, so now I'm going to just make sure I get all the edges off. I'm going to see how, if I need to get any glue in there. And I think I do want to get some glue in there first. So I'm going to take, let's see, I think this brush will fit in nicely. So I'm going to get it wet. As always, you want to make sure you start with a wet brush, sop it off all the excess, and then we're going to get in there and I'm just gonna lay it in. And I like to twirl my brush inside there. And I'm gonna fold this in. Use my bone folder to seal that little area before we do the half hinge. Okay, so that should be fine. Now I've got um, some waste sheets here because I want to make sure I don't get any glue on the book. So one of the things that we need to do when we're half hinging is we need to add a strip down here and we usually use a mending sheet so we're going to want to add a strip that goes in between here because when uh, we do the single stitch binder tape for the repair it won't stick to and it'll create what's called the tube and as you know that tube is where when you're putting on a wing when you're gluing the gutter that tube is what allows the book to be flexible and open up. So let's look at the sizes of single stitch binder tape. We have, um, I grabbed the two that would be uh, most appropriate for this. This is one and a half inch. This is two inches. So what I like to do is get my, ooh, and that's just about right. But I'm not sure I want it that close. So I think what I'm gonna wanna do is use the one and a half inch. Uh, the reason why this is just too tight and um, to fit, and I don't want it sticking out over. You always want it to leave a little bit. In fact, you could always usually just use something because you're basically just securing it. So we're going to cut our strip of, and I'm going to line it up. I could always measure too. I'm going to line it up. I'm going to line it up this way so you guys can see. So I put it all the way to the end of the text block, to the end of the text block, and I'm going to make a little mark here with my pen and I'm going to cut the strip. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty straight. Okay, and so what we're going to be gluing, just so you know, is this area has the pre-gummed solution on it. So that's why we want to make sure we add a little water with the glue because that works on that part of this type of adhesive that's already on here and then you're adding the glue so when you do this you're going to want to do you're going to want to put the gummed side on here so i'm going to slather this with glue 
and then I'm going to attach it here. So there's a bunch of different glue brushes you can use. Um, you can use one that's shaped like this. Uh, you can use a flat brush, one that's shaped like this. I'm going to go ahead and use my flat brush on this portion of the hinge. And I always want to work from the middle. I get my glue on there, work up and out through the middle. Um, again, uh, just to let you know, uh, some people prefer to work right on, they lay it on to a waste sheet. Um, but I, I prefer to hold it in my hand and work that way. So I just make sure I get the glue all over. especially on those edges. See, I need a little more over here. And I keep handy, I keep uh, the shop towels, I keep cotton balls, everything handy to sop up any excess. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fit this on here. I'm going to make sure I have it in position right where I want it. And once I get it right, I like to have the um, stitching right on the very edge. And that can only be accomplished by feeling it. You know, if you try to eyeball it, it's just not going to happen. We're going to smooth those out in a second, but I just, I like to use my fingers. So I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm going to work out that little bit and I may need to add a little glue there and I'm going to make sure it's nice and tight on here. I'm not too worried about this because we're going to be putting our end sheet over this so I can add extra glue then. So once I get this nice and smoothed down and sealed really good, I'm going to want to flip up my book and I'm going to want to seal this one down. And as you can see, it comes right to this edge. And if we had used uh, the other size, it would not have worked. So on half hinging with a single stitch, stitched binder tape, you always want to go a little less. So we've got that nice and sealed. We're still working on that and we're going to put a weight on this and allow it to dry. Okay. And making sure you don't hang your weight over, you want to place it right on here and you want to make sure always that your text block is in the best possible position when it's drying. Okay, and then we'll come back and show you how to attach the other side. So now that the um, half hinge has had an opportunity to dry, we're going to go ahead and do the other part of our hinge, which would be like this. So in order to finish the hinge, we need to place a, a strip of the wax mending paper so that this doesn't stick to this part because we need to leave that free. So um, it's roughly about an inch and a half, so I'm going to eyeball it. And I'm going to cut a strip. To fit. And that's going to go in here like this. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to put um, glue on this right here. So I'm going to get my big glue. And this time we're going to use a different glue brush so you can see the difference. So I'm going to use this guy. So I'm going to need some glue.
Good practice is to always put your cap back on your glue. So again, working from the middle and working out. So as you can see, it just spreads a little differently. And you get used to the different brushes after time and deciding which ones you like to use best. Sometimes a brush like this really globs the glue on. Okay, so it looks pretty good. I have to replace that. Got my fan on, it's kind of hot today. Okay, here we go. Got my strip down and I'm gonna bring up my, gonna fold this and I'm gonna bring this up. Okay, and then I wanna make sure this matches up. So I'm gonna Finish working this. And my bone folder. <laughs> okay, so I want to make sure that's nice and solid on there. Make sure that this is nice and tight. And as you can see, I've leave, left a space here because you want that little bit of space and we can always glue that in if we need to. But the most important thing <coughs> is the text block. Had I pushed this farther over, my text block would not have been in the right place. So I'm going to try to manipulate this a little bit, peel it off here, just get a little tighter on here. Nice that I could still work with it. Okay, and now we're going to close it. I'm just going to get in here on the gutter, do this, and then I'm going to put some rubber bands around it. Now, we've got these brand new rubber bands that I was able to locate, which are just wonderful for keeping this nice and tight, but not so tight that it bends it. So we're going to put three rubber bands on here. And then we'll show you what it looks like after it's dry and we remove the strip. Okay, we've let our book rest overnight. Uh, this is the half hinge book. Uh, we placed a weight on it and some rubber bands, so we're gonna remove those. We're also gonna need to remove our strip of wax mending paper so that we maintain our tube. Sometimes that's a little rough. But there we go, I'm pulling it out. So now, as you can see, we have a nice tube in there and this should go all the way through. And it does, lovely. Okay, so that is what a half hinge looks like. Um, as you can see, sometimes we need to clean up a little bit here. Also, we have our end sheet which needs to be reattached here. Um, in this case, since this is just a piece of paper that we cut off of the end sheet here, we could put another piece of paper here, or in some cases, 
Um, when there's a gorgeous um, end paper that's either been marbled or maybe looks something like this, we can photograph it and slip it right down so you can even tell the book was ever hinged. One of the reasons we, we remove the end sheet is when we're attaching the hinge to the text block, we need something really solid. So had I attached this before and then hinged the book, the book would be dependent upon this that had been glued in, and that does not um, provide a strong enough structure. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm now gonna put my end sheet on here. So I'm gonna get about 3 16ths of an inch. Cooper cooperate. And I'm gonna get my glue brush, and I'm just gonna put glue along this edge. Okay, got a little glue here, so I wanna make sure I remove that. And again, always lining up with the text block using your bone folder to place this down, closing up your book making sure it's nice and secure. And that is how you do a half hinge.